Sony was, I suppose, combative, were they? Is that, is that a fairly... Well, it's quite fascinating that they chose the biggest trade organization in the entire world, the, the 160,000 people over two miles of space. And this is where Kazuo Hirai, the chief executive of Sony, decides to make his first public statements about the hacking scandal, which of course embroiled his company and ended with the U.S. actually increasing sanctions against North Korea, all involving their Hollywood film studio and the interview film. And, well, he spoke actually of the pride for his employees. Have a listen. They were, unfortunately, the victim of one of the most vicious and malicious cyber attacks that we've known, certainly in recent history. But I have to say that I'm very proud of all the employees and certainly the partners that we've worked with as well, who stood up against some of the extortionist efforts of the criminals that actually attacked Sony Pictures and its employees. Tough talk, considering the PR disaster that it has been. And interesting that, of course, they've reversed their decision. They ended up putting out the film, the interview, and he therefore said, look, we still stand behind freedom of expression, freedom of speech. He says it's an important lifeblood. Amongst all of this, he was also there to unveil some products, of course, and it was all about ultra-high definition for Sony. It was all about a new TV as thin as, a, as one of their Sony Xperia phones and all about some of these key picture high definitions. Make your manners feel bad. He shouldn't have bought that TV. The no, I'm ahead of the curve. I'm ahead of the curve. I'm there. <laughs> it's very thin, I'm sure. So that's Sony. That's, that, that's a new product from Sony, as well as the, uh, uh, the conversation around the hacking, of course. Other interesting announcements coming out of CES, Samsung, for example? Exactly. A big rival to Sony, of course. And for them, we were talking about it yesterday, all about the Internet of Things, all about connected devices. I want to put the money where their mouth is because, of course, this is a market. By 2020, the Internet of Things could be worth $7 trillion. And the co-CEO of Samsung was really showing his focus in terms of these connected devices. Have a listen. Arguably, it is the most important topic for our industry right now, the Internet of Things. Ahead of the curve, you say, Manus. Would you like it if you have, basically, you'll be able to not only just be told what you should watch on television, but monitor whether your plumbing is up to scratch, no, monitor your health. No, this no, is the future no. for Samsung. They are spending more than $100 million on developers because they want to really focus on the Internet of Things. So pretty phenomenal things, as well as their curved HDTVs being announced as well. We've had a bit of an autofocus today. We cool spoke to the CEO yeah. of Rolls-Royce, and uh, car makers are very much front and centre at the CES, aren't they? I mean, yeah, whether it should be consumer electronic event or whether it should actually be the car event of the year because this is a record amount of automakers are actually at CES this year trying to really grab back the limelight from Google. Remember Google's been in the front pages, everyone very excited about self-piloting cars. Well now you've got the big car makers coming back really trying to fight hard. So you've actually got the Mercedes owner, Daimler. Now they took to the helm yesterday talking about, well, they unveiled their new concept car. It's an F-15. It's the luxury in motion. Get this. You have seats that will swivel round. The actual steering wheel will sink back into the car. You no longer need to be driving. You can converse. They want this overall to be just a cocoon on wheels that you can be conducting your meetings, say, overall. It's all about luxury. It's all about transportation. Even BMW is out there with using Samsung's latest tablets in its cars. So, really, these car companies are trying to steal the limelight back from Google. I